Hello, this is Not A Screen Chick, and today we're going to be talking about special effects and blue screen, or, or actually green screen or blue screen. It could be any type of color screen. And a lot of times when you hear the word special effects, you think of, oh, the movies, you know, like animation, movies like Avatar or Alice in Wonderland. And, you think about and, all these and they're massively effects. green screened mm -hmm. on psych walls because what you have is a psych wall behind you. And somebody like Brandon Fra Brendan Fraser, what he's the king of he's the green screen. He's the king screen. of the green screen. Well, one of the great things. Oh, you can now actually see it in older movies. You know, you can always tell when they cut and you know they're in the car. Yeah. Right. And you're like the coloring looks different there than everywhere else. Yeah, you can tell. Um, uh, okay, an example. Last night I was watching a movie called McKenna's Go, and you could tell. When they were in front of a screen versus when the, because the lighting is almost totally different all the time. Mm -hmm. Today it's better, it's far more superior. Yeah, you can do a lot more with computers. And in fact, the background does not have to be green. This one is blue. It doesn't have to be blue either. In mm -hmm. fact, you can take out any color yeah. with today's software. Yeah, we have an earth tone mm -hmm. psych wall, which is bigger than this one. The tricky part is, is when the skin tone that's your problem. It's very similar to yours. So, for example, if I happen to have a psych wall or a color you're taking out, which is brown then we're or in peach, trouble. yeah. Which then I hadn't thought about that either because I'm tan. So. <laughs> and we've got an earth tone psych wall. Yeah, but that will just use it as a backdrop. Yeah. We're, we probably won't take the color out of that because otherwise it just causes problems. And what happens? Oh, we can show you. Yeah. What happens is you kind of almost meld into the background, so yeah. the other color. And the picture you put over it can be either a picture or a video. And yeah. this is all something you can do. I mean, it sounds like it's really advanced. No, but almost any any minor league video editing program has chroma key in it. I think you can buy chroma key software in, what, software that's like $100? Yeah. Maybe $60, $70? You can go, um, for instance, you can go buy... Um, uh, what is it, Nova, Nova AX3 for like $80, $70, $80, $90, it's got chroma key. Less than $100 for um, uh, Cyberlink, which has chroma key. Less than $100 for Magic, it has chroma key. So it basically comes with most, most low-range editing programs. Actually, some of them comes with the stuff you have on your computer. Well, and see, we've been experimenting because part of it is, is we've shown you how to make it. We've made it. We've made a. We've made one. That's right. We use green dye yeah. to go ahead and make it. We've also got. I've gotten sheets. You know that lime yeah, green no, color. Just yeah. Yeah. We're out at the old yeah. Warner yeah. Brothers. Yeah. 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 Basically, it's just uh, any solid color you can pull out of. Um, the, the, basically, what you do is they get an eyedropper. Hello, you take the eyedropper, put it on the color you want to pull out, and it will yank that color out. It's that simple today. Wow. Yeah, so this happens to be the old Warner oh, Brothers actually, film brand, what, which you might quick. have seen. There's one software which is in some old West. Sometimes it also a green screen in the box. Oh, yeah. We've picked up three, uh, actually, four green screens with our upgrades. So and uh, so that's. I mean, a, it's not a huge one, but it's still what, like six by yeah. five or. It, it's basically nine. it's a big enough for one person. It's not as big as this. Yeah. So, but it's still big enough because we were we've done a lot of green screening. But what happens on that, because of the size? So see, this is because this is a psych wall. She can do something on this, the, which is to break her arms out. Yeah, this one is ten feet by twelve feet. Yeah. So part of it is, is depending on the space you have, how how many people. Can in, how far can you put the camera back? Those are yeah. all things that you have to work with because when you're working with green screen or side wall, let's just say you want the entire background blue or green or whatever color you're using. Yeah. It doesn't help you to get the surrounding areas. You don't need it. <laughs> this is actually 10 foot tall also. You know, this is ten foot tall, and you know, so and since she's not six foot tall, we we basically part of it is uh, moved out on the floor that she can stand on that too. So and another way you can do it is um, we have one of the games um, U Star, which is where you put yourself in the movies, and included in the U Star was a green screen and a stand for it. Yep. So you can use that, and that's intended more for people sitting down yep. in front of the camera, and so it green screens them into the scene. Yeah, so, so it's, a, it that it's way. a neat thing, so. And then if you really want to do it, you could paint your entire wall. 
Yeah, which is a, the, you can buy a gallon of the chroma, chroma material, but it's, a, you know, a lot of them, basically they do an entire wall, half the ceiling and half the floor. Mm -hmm. Then they've got a total um, thing, but with us, like this, this is 10 foot tall. I think we've got like four foot of the green screen on the floor, which you can stand on. Mm -hmm. But right now we're using a brand new wide angle lens, which basically doesn't allow us to uh, do any further. Because what we want to do is to get more, have more room. And one, some of the things we're doing is we're experimenting. So part of it is you get to benefit from our experiences. Because the best way to actually have this is to have... A solid background. Yeah. Here, we put this in front of a window. Yeah, basically what happened was somebody walked off with our clamps. Yeah. And we basically had to do it not exactly the most proper. It's basically put in with thumbtacks and there's no backing. See, if we had the, if we had the clamps, you'd be a, there'd be no light shining through whatsoever. Yeah, because part of it is, is we were going to clamp this into the... Um, the, 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 the window. The win well, actually, we've got a window frame we're going to be clamped into. Yeah, because this is a huge picture window. In fact, it's a little bit recessed. And so well, our I problem is, you see, this whole wall is basically composed of two massive glass pieces. So, mm -hmm. And I haven't had window coverings on here because one of the next things we'll show you is doing the curtain rods. Yeah, and um, then... I have it, but I got new neighbors that are really nosy. Yeah, so you'll end up seeing in a few... Uh, I, I don't know. By the time this is on, we'll have done a piece on how to hang curtain rods over one of the windows. So, mm -hmm. But this is, this is... This room is like 40 foot long. It's got two... It's probably got 20 a, foot of um, windows on this side. This is like a 40 by 20? Yeah, and yeah, it, I mean, it's a really good sized room. And there's a tremendous of room because this is going to be our main, you know, this room will be our main psych wall until we get the next place, which is basically going to be designed to put the real psych up, which is a psych. This should be curved. Yeah. But what we've done is we put the psych straight. It should be curved around so that basically it looks like you can, when you walk to, the, to, uh, to both sides, it gives you that, like, uh, you know, the, it, basically a traditional psych wall is, it is like 180 degrees. Mm. So it's why we, uh, why if you were doing a paint job, you do half, you know, part of the walls, part of the floor, and part of the ceiling. Which like, is why sometimes you see them, and it's on three, you know, like you, here's an idea, is when you're in the dressing room and you're looking at the mirror, and you've got the mirrors, right? So instead of mirrors right there, because you're looking to see how you look from different angles, instead of the mirrors, that was a green screen, right? Kind of those angles. She could go ahead and look at it. But part of it is, usually you put it up on a solid background. This is over a picture window. Yeah. And it's dark outside, but you can still see some of the light, so there's a little bit difference in color. Yeah. So, I don't know, is this one going to be edited so they can actually see what it looks like? Yeah, but basically we're going to fiddle with both of us so you can see what it looks like. We normally shouldn't be able to see through this, mm -hmm. but, like I said, we're missing part of, our, part of what we're doing, which would cover that thing so you'll get to see through you can't really see through from the other side really yeah yeah so part of it is, is then the picture of the video gets placed over this color yeah yeah so one of the things is when you're pulling a color out whatever color it is is if you they tend to be a color that's not your skin tone because that way when you take it out it yeah because I've had that problem at times because what happened is is that we're we're you because it is so bloody dark outside we're using floor key lights at the moment mm -hmm. and because we weren't we weren't ready we don't have our side lights up like we would in the kitchen mm -hmm. Bandit's kitchen has over our overhead lighting too so it's what happens is it gives her a different color so all of a sudden you could be in trouble with some of the stuff and you yank the color out and we yank her out with it mm -hmm. and she gets sort of a ghost image and another thing what we were, you know like this is going to be a bigger piece but we we deliberately sometimes would she had um, solid green swimsuits which we would use with the green screen and then we would make we'd give her flower prints or something else on a new swimsuit because mm -hmm. Basically, we put the background on, the suit would then have the color of the background, and it would look like we've made a swimsuit to match the background. Mm -hmm. Where actually, it's the same 
But the funny part is, is like as, as you move, like the swimsuit changes and it yeah. moves. The swimsuit like changes it with the yeah. the swimsuit like changes that. with the background. So, but it's it's just a unique effect. It doesn't have to be expensive. I mean, we'll honestly tell people this psych wall we picked up. We won't tell you what it cost, but we can tell you it was about a tenth of what it would be in if you bought it at full price. We bought it at a at a, a um, basically a, a warehouse. They had a warehouse sell. We bought this one and the 20-foot psych wall. Yeah, part of it is, is if you go to a camera store, the traditional prices, these are normally several hundred dollars. Yeah. This is considered, this is chroma blue. Which is very expensive. Yeah. And, you know, part of it, and we've done this before, but this is chroma blue, which is intended um, to take the color out. Is yeah. You could probably, if you're trying to cut corners, it's... Get a sheet. You could probably get uh, a sheet you know, that's do, not you know color. do it a dark or blue or a chroma. Any a real navy blue maybe. Anything can pull the blues out. Blues are real simple. Yeah, and you, and what happens is you don't if if you want if you don't want what you're wearing to become a part of the scene is you wear something that's not the same color. Yeah, you wear something red, you wear something white. You just but that's how it works, but it's just Green screening is the most, it basically, um, virtually every newscast on the air uses green yeah. screen one form or another because our, our uh, green screen is actually, uh, it, 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 a lot of green screens are not really green. It's just, they just call them green screens because it's a thing, make, I mean, green screens go back to the days of, uh, of Lumiere Brothers in France. They're the ones that created this sort of stuff because they knew Due to an optical problem with the film, you could pull certain colors out. And even though they were black and white, you could still pull the color out. So part of it is you can pull this color out, yep. and you can be anywhere you want to be in the world. Yep. Which means, if you put something up like that, right, you can have fun. Like we saw, I saw it on, what was it, Royal Pains, where she was, it was like her faux boyfriend, yeah. where they put the green screen up, and then... You know, like they had bicycles, yeah. they're sitting there posing, and they yeah. put them all, yeah. all over the world. They can sit there, you can run a, a stationary bike and sit there and pedal with the road going on behind you. See, the unique thing about the, the green screen is you can use you can put a video in the background, mm -hmm. which we have done at times. Mm -hmm. I've got one at which I've got one that I think is really neat, which is a photographer getting in front of a person taking pictures. Oh really? So I, that's part of my green screen stuff, but I have to get that one done. So, so um, you can get stock footage that's like that, or if you do using photo, you can use like some of your favorite vacation photos. Yeah. In other words, that's you right. took my dad always thought it was funny. He took us to Epcot, right? And he took a picture, and so he, he had the picture on his desk. So people said, "Oh, you took your family to China." Yeah. Right. Right. So, you can actually have your family in the green screen and put them wherever you want in the world. Oh. Does yeah. that remind you of family pictures? That's right. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we'll tell people. We're doing a music video, which is another reason why we bought the psych wall, so that we can work inside a studio, because the studio, basically, the background is really bad. You know? So, um, it's all green screen, folks. Well, we need to green screen it anyway, because of what we're going to be working on. Because my avatars are dancing to nothing. They're basically on an empty stage, and we're going to, we, you know, basically if people have seen the pieces that have been put up, I've got different backgrounds on almost every one of them. I haven't decided on what desolation I want for, you know, uh, surfing at Venice Beach 2121. It's, it's basically, it's a joke, like in 2121, there's no water in the world anymore. Mm -hmm. So the beaches, are the sun surf is gone. But the really cool part is you can be anywhere you want to be in the world or anywhere you don't want to be. Yeah. You can have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you want to do Mad Max? Mm -hmm. You can do Mad Max. If you want to be, uh, you want to be in the Grand Canyon, be in the Grand Canyon. If you want to be in a, you know, in a jungle, you can be in a jungle. Actually, we've done what we've had. We have put her in the middle of waterfalls with the water coming down. Wow. Yeah, and because she's wearing a swimsuit, because her skin and stuff and the swimsuit tones, we basically ghosted her into the area. And you can plant also. With, without much effort, change the intensity of the image that you're using. Mm -hmm. So you can make it stronger. And, and then, um, like, I reverse the green screen on some of our programming. Mm -hmm. The green screen should be behind. What I do is put the, uh, I put the green screen, uh, you know, like she, basically the, this would be on the A track. I, I often, I'll put 
this on the B track and put my background up first and then put this on top. And it comes with a different...